officially time to say goodbye. What's good, guys? Welcome back to maybe the last episode of Life at Sea, season number three. We are on my last port, that is a Chinese port in Nansha, and I am preparing my last passage plan all the way to Singapore. So, yeah, that thing is going on. Weather forecast in uh, place, paperwork, as you all know, and I am very excited. Uh, fingers are crossed that my reliever comes in time and there are no issues because COVID has started again and the problems are rising. But anyway, I am trying to keep a positive mindset that yes, the sign off will happen in the next four days and let's take you all on this journey. I would like to share with you all a very important thing which is happening with me right now. It is known as the sign off mode and it is very common towards the end of your contract. What happens is that your mind drifts away back to your home, to your loved ones and you don't feel like working to your best capacity. So remember that mistakes can be made anytime but especially during the end of the contract you can make some major mistakes which can cost lives, damage the ship and the environment. So you don't want to do that, you have a big responsibility on your shoulder. So how I avoid it is by suppose I am doing the passage planning, I check it 3 to 4 times Minimum, I beat this laziness in my head and you know, I have to beat it down. <laughs> Believe me, it is like a war between you and your head, but you have to win always. So I do this, do this three, four times, check everything and then I sleep. Otherwise, my mind will keep uh, haunting me that ah, you made a mistake maybe here or there. So remember, this happens with the best of the best and to tackle it, this is what I do. If you have any other suggestions, you can drop in the comment section, but for now, this is happening with me. Now, how about encountering bad weather on the last voyage? I mean, this is crazy. We just received a news from our weather services that they want us to take a route which is west of these islands over here. Before I was making a route east of it, but now they want to go west. So the, um, yeah, well, minimizing distance and initial weather under moderate strong swells and all of that. So you can pause and read it. So I'm amending the route as required making my passage plan accordingly. You see these waypoints have been changed, changing it here on my route and then we'll follow what the weather service provider advises us. So I woke up thinking that we will be in the channel going out from my last port but here we are, it is 1.30 am in the morning, cargo operations are done and there is no pilot. Now talking about how the sign off date keeps getting extended, this is exactly what is happening right now and I feel really bad but uh, this is how life is. I mean, I thought I will come here on the bridge and you know do the pilotage, take the ship out but uh, I have to sit here for the next 6 hours and do nothing and wait for the pilot who will be coming in the morning. Guys, I have some great news for all of you who are curious to become a sailor in this modern world. My new book on how to join the Merchant Navy in India is now available on Amazon and it has been ranked as the number one hot release in its category. Inside, you'll find everything you need to know from the advantages and disadvantages of working in this profession to the most popular courses for 10th, 12th and college graduates. It also includes the entrance exam IMU CT syllabus and all its important dates. But that's not all. The book also includes information on the best companies and institutes in India, sponsorship and medical procedures and much more. 
as someone who has been in the merchant navy for years i am excited to share my knowledge and experience with all of you and the best part you can download the full book for free on amazon kindle subscription the book link is in the description for your reference guys we have escaped nancha departure is done and we've got so many fishing boats just on departure just crossed a few of them and now i'm heading to my next port which will be the airport so it is such a relief that we have come out of china where the coastal was very tough this time with a lot of fishing boats because the fishing season was on and i feel as if my sign up has already happened because the stress is gone and now we just have a few boats here and there which is just like like a toy and uh, yeah like a kid playing in the park i don't know i think i'm losing my mind <laughs> so on this last voyage what i have to do now is fill in my appraisal which is like a performance report so i have a few parameters on which i will be judged and uh, yeah this is what is very important for me to understand where i am going wrong what all improvement is required on which particular parameter this is also sent to the company so generally it's important to get a good decent appraisal and keep improving so it is my second time as a second officer or maybe first time so uh, let's see what will it be of course i will not show it to you <laughs> you have to come in and tell me how was my performance yeah Guys, what is happening is today is Christmas and we have plenty tasks. Ah, guys, I'll be singing. Karne ka. I'll show you the singing part. Merry Christmas and jingle bell. Okay. Hi. Jingle. So, guys, welcome to the Christmas grand lunch slash dinner. And the chief has prepared so many beautiful things over here. As you see, lot of sweets. These are all non non alcoholic beers. Biryani, that's the Christmas tree, and of course, the cake, and all the non-veg dishes and lobsters. Yes, you rightly saw that today is Christmas on board, and we had a game in which we had to do 40 tasks and click pictures and videos of it. I will put it now so you can also have a look and enjoy them. And uh, yeah, right now the thing is, I'm on the bridge. The party started already in the mess room, but. Second officer has to stay on watch. What can we do? The captain will come later and relieve me. Then I'll have my food. And uh, yeah, that's going on. This is like my last day, not last, second last day on the bridge watch. I'm so happy about it. Hopefully everything goes well. And tomorrow, day after, I sign off. And we are doing close to 19.2 knots, which is incredible speed. The current is 3.6 knots. We are actually doing 15.8. Over the water and 19.3. That means the ship wants me to reach Singapore early, and I'm so happy. My team members are preparing for a fancy dress. <laughs> Harshit, tell me, he's the Santa Claus. Harshit, what's happening? Yeah, I, I, I'm just trying to wear this lungi mm -hmm. and uh, prepare to uh, make a West uh, South Indian culture. South Indian culture. Yeah. But Jason. Because yeah. Jason is also here. Yeah, right? Jason is also here. Jason, Jason yeah. is from south, so he is helping, helping us. Helping us tie the loop. This is for the vlog, huh? Uh, Doctor, Desi, Santa, and the patient. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we have to win this fancy dress. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Take. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, guys, come. Some hair one. Jason. Yeah. Come, come. One. Second. <laughs> Please come. Ah, so guys, I feel so good. Our team won, and this was a great game, and uh, it brought the team spirit back again. And we also got a gift. I'm going to open this with you all. 
and see what's inside this and i have to start my packing as well so that's the more exciting part i see mostly it is like chocolates okay so interesting things chips chip ahai biscuits oreo that, that's fine i will take this topper on and of course these chocolates because i like them and today's christmas so one chocolate will not make any harm guys so i'm going to take this and give the rest of this to my crew so it is 4:30 am in the morning and it is officially my last night here on the ship the last time i'm going to be here on the bed of a ship for a long time i'll tell you why in the coming videos but um, i feel good i i i just hope that my reliever right now is on the flight and he lands at 7:30 am in the morning and i get good news that okay everything is in order and i can sign off my paperwork everything is done and now i think i will crash peacefully thinking that i have done my part here safely and i am ready for the handover so see you tomorrow morning guys i thought i will get at least 6 hours sleep but i just got like 3 4 hours and then my mind started racing so far there are no bad news the my reliever should be in singapore by now and that's the excitement by which my my like my mind is not making me stop and i'm just overthinking thing stuff so i think it's quite normal and i think i'll start my packing now after i freshen up and that's it guys that's it i think so so ladies and gentlemen i am officially on my last navigational watch we are going to be entering the singapore strait very very soon multiple anchored ships it is 1:45 i was doing my paperwork which is all done and covered remember to take your sea service uh, certificate and your appraisal whenever you are signing off from the captain like i told you in the beginning of the video the sign off mode especially on the last part of your journey the last day with heavy traffic you have to be aware of your actions and not let the mind slip into the uh, flight or the air uh, tickets and all of that first you have to focus here one step at a time and this is the most crucial thing so be aware of that i will sort out my navigation so then you enjoy the time lapse Ah, what a relief. What a relief. Guys, but I hope it lasts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last time you will be seeing me in this cover all for a while and I'm not very sad about it because it's been really long on the ship and the sea life. I'm going for my Okay, I'll reveal it at the end of it. Let's go over the station, guys. That's it. Hey Singapore here we come Captain let's go guys let's go Here we are power station one last time and I can already smell freedom <laughs> Rajiv ji ready yes, we're ready for station with the last with the last second of <laughs> no last second of <laughs> second of this the last station the last station thank, thank you thank you rajiv keep on bridge forward all headlines on 60% and springs on brake very well thank you finish guys this is it hopefully now i have to wait for my reliever but this is it Oh man the most important thing we did this safely all good and secure and that's why i am more happy of course sign sign off yes yes i think i can see my reliever on the jetty oh my my it is officially time to say goodbye to all the safety equipments of course 
we are done here still have another one and a half hours remaining on the ship and this time i'm not giving any surprises because my family is also waiting and they are tired <laughs> so i thought i will tell them when i am coming exactly i also reserve up i'm going to call her and tell her that my reliever is here and i'm officially done so let's try calling her time to come back uh, i'm feeling a little bit bad while packing this that i will not be able to shoot such beautiful uh, nature shots of the mighty oceans and yeah i am actually quite i felt emotional after packing this man i mean what's happening to me i mean i have become more like a machine now than a human and this is what life at sea does to you believe me and i'm just waiting to go outside the ship and understand what's ha what happens in the outside world because i have lost touch like my mind has lost lost touch with humanity itself thank you a beautiful mars cape town for this tenure and keeping me safe and the ship safe and all the crew safe <sighs> what a journey guys what a journey i wish it was in the morning but well second house is the ghost of the ship and the ghost has to sign off only at the ghost's time so everything has ended up well and most importantly thank you thank you god for keeping me safe and sound and giving me all the strength so this has been my savior for the past 2 years and this i always put in the end cause it's like my protection and i think i will sum up our videos from the ship now let's see you from the gangway my taxi is right over there and this is time to say goodbye to us cape town Woo, what a journey i love it thank you thank you ship thank you thank you thank you thank you चले आगे 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 राजू भाई चलिए Gentlemen, officially, I'm going to be entering my apartment. This lift is not going to the engine room, guys. I'm going home in this. And uh, oh, sorry about this. This is one. This is the happiest moment, man. To see your family after so long. I'm just holding the lift to take the duty-free shopping I did. How do you feel after my return? Really good. <laughs> good. But right now I'm waiting. For the food. <laughs> the food story starts again.